I'm Sarah Woodbury. This is my husband, Dan. And today we're talking about the Roman conquest of Britain. What's the story with the Romans? What were they doing in Britain? Okay, so just a bit of background. Okay. Rome was founded in 750 BC. They were a military state um, to varying degrees. They conquered Greece in 146 BC, spread throughout Europe, conquering as they went, and faced um, the English Channel in 55 AD with Julius Caesar, who decided the time had come to cross. He made multiple attempts over the course of a year or two to establish a beachhead in Britain, and the Celts threw him back every mm. time. So another 100 years passed or so, with increasing um, trading ties between Britain and Rome, and political ties as some of the tribal leaders in southern England reached out to Rome in an attempt to um, counter their enemies within England, right? Okay. So you get this big brother yes, here exactly. and you're like, yeah, bad idea, but okay. Yeah. So come 43 AD, uh, Emperor Claudius made the decision that it was time to conquer Britain. He sent four legions, 40,000 men to cross the English Channel. Um, they did establish a beachhead and they began to work their way into conquering southern England initially, mm -hmm. um, tribe by tribe. Okay. Over, it took actually 40 years to conquer what is now Wales, England, and southern Scotland. Um, 60 AD, for example, the rebellions in, in what is now Wales, mm -hmm. wasn't called Wales then, but mm -hmm. um, were so great that the, Nor that the um, I called the Normans, the yeah. Romans <laughs> um, marched up to, through Gwynedd, mm -hmm. crossed the Menai Strait, and um, wiped out all the Druids and the holy sites because the Druids were seen as the source of the, the spiritual source of the rebellion. Okay. Even with that, Wales wasn't conquered until 84 AD. So what happened, um, I mean, every, Hadrian's Wall is super famous. What happened up there in Scotland? So, so we had this conquest over the course of, you know, 40 initial years up to mm -hmm. 84 AD, but they continued to attempt to push further and further north. Mm -hmm. um, ultimately, the political decision was made in 122 to build Hadrian's Wall and to say, nope, this is it. This mm -hmm. is the northern frontier. Um, 20 years after that, they actually decided to try again, and so they pushed north to um, and built and the Antonine Wall, which um, runs between the Firth of Forth and the Firth of Clyde. So not a lot of people have heard of the Antonine Wall. No, and Why it's super that? cool. It's a turf wall, so it's not stone. Okay. And it was actually abandoned 20 years after that. And okay. then they retreated behind Hadrian's Wall again. Okay. While the Romans were there, what, what was it like, you know, kind of on the landscape and in the lives of the people who lived there? Right, so, so Rome, the Roman occupation of Britain was a military occupation primarily. So 20,000 soldiers, yes, yeah. but um, they didn't bring their wives and families with them. They married local people. So you sort of see this, this overlay of Romanization over the top of a Celtic, or at that time now, British culture. Mm -hmm. The Romans built roads, they built cities, they built amphitheaters and aqueducts and, and water systems and baths, all of which the British people had access to. Um, but at the same time, there was definitely sort of this elite Roman-esque um, establishment that ruled over everything. So you kind of could have access to it, but it was at the Romans' pleasure. Right. And, and they did build cities, so London grew, um, the amphitheaters were for the, the um, pleasure of the citizens um, mm -hmm. of Britain. One city, like Roxeter, um, the Romans built initially as a military installation and then abandoned, and the British took it over. Okay. So they were living in a Roman city, but it was primarily British. Wow. Why did the Romans leave? I mean, what happened? Right, and they did leave. So they just marched away in 410 AD. Um, they were called back from to Rome by Rome because Rome was under attack by all these other peoples that they'd conquered over the last previous 400 years. And, and um, so, so the Britons didn't overthrow the Romans, they just left. Uh -oh. um, leaving them defenseless and without any kind of political organization. It, oh, and opening them up to the Saxon invasions, which are sort of the next story. Uh, the British actually sent emissaries to Rome, as well as wrote letters, begging the Roman legions to return, and, and were basically told, 
Nope, you're on your own. Wow. Well, uh, maybe the next couple of weeks we can look at some Roman sites in, in Britain and Wales. Love to do that. Yeah. If you like this video, click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel. There will be a new video next week. And if you want to check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.